have you ever wondered uh, why we vote specifically at this time of year? Or how true is it that weather may play a real part in whether or not people don't vote and whether or not some candidates will win over others? Well, we sent our Rick Adams into the belly of the American politics to get the truth about weather and voting. The weather is so important, it literally decided when we have elections. Because the founding fathers were farmers and November was past harvest. Therefore, no crops to worry about, so they could vote. But could the weather be powerful enough to decide election results? In 2000, I was a senior advisor at Al Gore uh, and was there in Nashville on election day. And, and one of the things that happened in Florida that day is there was some weather related issues and problems. Now there's an uh, election when six million people voted in Florida. It was decided by 517 votes, okay? So obviously, uh, a few votes could be very much impacted by weather. So does the weather also have an effect on certain types of voters? Republicans tend to vote, come hell or high water. Okay, they will get out to the polls, they will be there. Democrats, undecided voters, the weather will affect whether or not they will vote. But this is all just a theory, right? We found that for every inch of rain that a county receives over its average, voter turnout went down about eight-tenths of one percent. So if the weather could make the difference between your candidate winning or losing, it's up to you to get prepared so that nothing comes between you and voting. In conclusion, weather is an all-powerful force upon our elections. In fact, it's simply too powerful. And what that means here in the nation's political capital is that pretty soon the weather will either have to be regulated or banned. Rick Adams, The Weather Channel.